welcome to a new home subdivision. This is a brand new home. It's about 2,600 square feet. It's in the south part of Las Vegas, and it starts at about 370. Come on in. Okay, so this home is brand new. So remember, it's a model home, so it's gonna have all kinds of cool and sexy things in it. So let's, let's go this way. So brand new homes right now have a lot of um, open spaces, right? So we have the open kitchen that is the focal point of this home. This open kitchen, you've got the dining area and the great room thing going on. So remember, this is a brand new home, so it has everything in here that you see is an upgrade. So as I like to tell my buyers, if you like it, it's an upgrade. So for example, this beautiful quartz countertop, it's an upgrade. So what's interesting about the quartz countertops and kitchen countertops right now is that what's popular is not the small edge, but the two and a quarter edge, two and a quarter inch edge is what's popular right now. This home, of course, since it's a model home, it's got uh, also upgraded cabinets, uh, you know, the, the nice big 42 inch cabinets. I always think it's interesting that if you notice up there, they've got the, what I like to call the dust collection section. Um, you know, I don't know why they don't take the cabinets all the way to the ceiling so that at least we've got storage and we're not just collecting dust. Um, this home happens to have a push-in stove. I know a lot of us like the, the drop-in stoves, uh, but this home happens to have a push-in stove. A lot of the islands that the new home builders are putting in now have the sinks. Uh, this is a nice undermount sink, uh, so I think a lot of us like that. I don't know how you feel about having the sink in the island. Uh, I think it's it's hit or miss for a lot of us. This is a huge island, so there's a lot of room for, for the sink, so that's not such a bad thing. And of course, the dishwasher goes next to the sink. Uh, this home happens to also have a fantastic little pantry. Uh, most of us like our pantries because it's a great place to put all our stuff. And um, of course, if you've got pets, it's a great place to also put all the pet goodies down there on the floor. The other interesting thing is that these homes, uh, they tend to have the, the kitchen cabinet stop here. I think a lot of us might like it extended all the way through, uh, but of course in this particular home you couldn't do that because there's very little space between the sliding glass door and the wall. But if they move the sliding glass door a little bit over, you could have cabinet space all the way over, which I think a lot of us would love. So let's go upstairs. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this home does have a downstairs bedroom. Uh, so I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, they have it set up as a den because they don't have a door, but you know they could put in a door here and then you'd have the bedroom because it does have this massive closet, so it could count as a bedroom. Okay, now uh, this is a powder bath, but I'm sure that they could uh, manipulate this so that you could get a shower in here and then you'd have a, um, a downstairs um, bedroom with, with a full bathroom, or at least a three-quarter bathroom. Let's go upstairs. So again, it's super popular right now to have these second living spaces upstairs as a loft. Uh, most of the home builders are doing something like this when they've got a two-story home, uh, which I think is interesting. It, I think a lot of it just depends on how you live and your lifestyle, obviously, what your lifestyle needs are. But I think it's interesting that a lot of them are doing this. So let's go see the bedrooms. So we've got secondary bedrooms. Uh, this bedroom is a secondary bedroom, and it has a walk-in closet. We've got another secondary bedroom in here with a regular closet. And then we have this other bedroom, that, which I think is the biggest bedroom in this house, aside from the master bedroom. Uh, and again, it has a massive walk-in closet. Now, these three bedrooms on this side of the house are the secondary bedrooms, and they all share one bathroom. So keep that in mind. Three bedrooms, one bathroom. So here is the bathroom that they share. It is a lovely bathroom. It does have two sinks. Uh, those two sinks are an upgrade. It, the house comes with a single sink. So let's go take a look at the master. Before we get to the master, 
they put the laundry room here, which I think is interesting. Um, as somebody who makes the mortgage payment, I would like the, the laundry to not be next to my bedroom. <laughs> uh, but they did put the laundry room next to the master bedroom. So this is the lovely master suite. It is huge. Um, this is a really good space. I mean, take a look. This is massive. The, uh, the walk-in closet is about the size of one of the secondary bedrooms. Check this out. This thing is massive. Okay, so now we have to, one of my favorite parts, of course, is the master bathroom. So I like that they were nice. They left you space for a big shower. I love big showers. So check out this big shower. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a seat. It's a big shower. You've got the raised um, counters, and you've got double sinks, and you have the potty. Now, I don't know uh, if you know how your life works, but I would have liked a door going to the potty. The, the potty is open, the rest of the bathroom. I'm not such a fan of that, but you know, that's just the way that they chose to do it. Keep in mind when you're visiting new homes like this that almost anything that you like is an upgrade. So that shower that we just looked at, that's an upgrade. Um, any of the finishes that you see, those are upgrades. New homes are uh, decked out in their best possible light to um, make you fall in love with them <laughs> and then to get you to uh, purchase them. And then comes the big expense, which is the design center. Keep in mind that new homes, it is not uncommon, particularly in this price point. Uh, this, is, this home starts at 371. So you can count on somewhere close to 15% in money between a lot premium and the design center. So the design center is gonna have things like putting in a double sink in that secondary bathroom, uh, have that fantastic shower in the, master, uh, in the master bathroom, flooring, paint, baseboards, uh, electrical packages, uh, things like having um, power for your TV mount on the wall. Uh, none of these things come with the house. So keep that in mind. There are lot, there's lots of money to be spent at the design center. Please make sure that you're working with your agent uh, as far as the design center because we want to make sure that your home appraises for your final purchase price. Because if you spend too much money at the design center, your home will not appraise for enough money and you will have to come up with the cash difference out of pocket. So for example, this home, uh, 371 plus lot premium plus elevations plus design center, you could end up uh, you know, somewhere around 420. Uh, and if the home only appraises for 400, then that extra 20,000, you're gonna to have to come up with cash out of pocket on top of your down payment, on top of your closing costs. So make sure that you are keeping an eye on that final number uh, and you're making choices that make sense for your particular situation. Hope you like this tour. Um, this home is in the south part of Las Vegas. Uh, if you have any questions or want to know more about it or want to know anything about new construction or resale in Las Vegas, please subscribe, uh, leave us comments, hit the, the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!